option. Oh, that's probably one of the dumbest things I've done is back in February uh, last year, um, the stock market like started to go down a little bit. And I was like, well, there's all this hype around coronavirus. That's there's every two years, there's like a new like swine flu type thing that never pans out. And now this uh, now like the travel stocks and stuff are going down a little bit. I'm like, I'll get some options here. You know, mm. it's, it's not going to be anything. <laughs> and then, and then uh, March hit. <laughs> 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 and that was uh yeah that was that was like right when i got into some started investing a little bit more so you hit the you you started doing options in like january february then? i did like i did a little some options in february <laughs> <laughs> and i i oh, lost like stocks? all the, um i forget which stocks it was like uh I think it was like travel, like it might've been like Delta or something like that. Um, <clears throat> and it wasn't like a long, long-term uh, options either. I think it was like uh, expiration date of like November, December. Actually, I, um, I go back. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, so I bought Delta stocks when it crashed but okay can you go look? yeah yeah there we go there it is yeah. <laughs> so yeah I, ba I basically lost all that money um <laughs> but i i don't i don't think it was it was a travel stock i forget there's a couple so, um So, so there, yeah, there's going to be some delay, I think, until you, if you're seeing it on your screen. But yeah, I okay. have I have uh, done some jets back when it crashed down here. I got some. And so, I mean, that's that's been good. But jets is like a ETF of like a lot of different travel, specifically airline stocks. Yeah, um, it hasn't actually got. Yeah, I mean, it's it's got up, I think as much as I think I would have expected it to, but I was really actually ho thinking it would have gone up more. Like yeah. back up to like 30 something at this point, but I guess yeah. it's full recovery there. Yeah. It's in interesting. <laughs> yeah. 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 So definitely options. It's very risky. It's, it's more or less like gambling. Um, unless you know really what you're doing. Um, right. You're probably going to lose your money. You, do that. <laughs> you have to like know a lot of the terms and verbiage and you need to understand exactly what like calls and puts are and understand like what you're if you're in the money out of the money and then uh oh there's so much to <laughs> to keep in mind there and yeah and for if sure. you want to hold it until the you know until it has to execute right because they're all they're timed right so it's like okay so i bought this option for I don't know how many weeks or months or potentially shorter or longer terms than that. Um, yeah. And it's just like, well, you don't actually have to hold it. You just hold or buying the contract for that, that, mm -hmm. that yeah. stock or that purchase. Exactly. Or sell, which is so, crazy to think about. Yeah. That was, uh, that was one of my worst probably. I, I made it up a little bit. I think January, I, I've only bought options a few times, but I've looked into it a lot because I found it interesting. Yeah. And you, you saw all the all the hype around options and stuff like that. It's really expensive to buy a decent option too, like yeah, because it's a hundred times the stock price. So if if it's a de decent like in the money call, uh, then it's gonna it's gonna be pretty expensive if it's not like a really cheap stock. Um, and if it's a really cheap stock, then it's not really worth it to get a call option. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So there, there's definitely some interesting ways you can reduce risk uh, by using using some options trading. And there's a few cool strategies that you can use. To, um, but I haven't I haven't gotten that sophisticated with it like by buying the actual stocks and then 
like also buying the contracts for like a call or a put and then so at yeah. least you're like you know guaranteed something either way yeah like hedging your bet yeah exactly yeah there's like uh you got the band where you'll you'll ma you won't be able to um you won't be able to make a ton of money off the investments but it's it can be used seemingly fairly intelligently if you want to get really uh, sophisticated with it. Right. And I've, I've looked into that a little bit. I haven't been confident enough to actually go through with any of those strategies yet, but maybe, right. maybe at some point. It's, um, it's, yeah. I have, I'm in the same boat. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of, I guess the other bigger bet I, I placed was right before the Georgia elections. Um, Ooh. I bought a few call options on some weed stocks because like every indication was pointing towards, uh, the Democrats winning th that race. Like, um, I was kind of tracking cause I found the politics of it like kind of interesting. I was tracking the, the polling and the polling went from one went from like republicans were up by one to democrats were slowly gaining and then there were like two or three news stories that came out really bad for republicans like the day before mm. and the there was definitely not indicated in uh the polling yet so it seemed like it seemed to me at least like it was a fairly high probability that they would actually win those um and they ended up winning them and then those the, must have been awesome the, yeah so i i think i basically evened out from the earlier <laughs> earlier ones <laughs> you, that i lost you, money in. any specific stock picks that you remember from that experience <sighs> i forget the I think Tilray or something like that. I'll try it. How do you, what's the, uh, T L R Y thing? Uh, it looks like it's like a Tory Birch thing. I'll put that back up. T O R Y? T L R Y. T L. Tillery. Tilray. Yeah, pharmaceutical company. They actually went through a merger uh, with oh, somebody shit. else. Wow. Like dollars to like 63 February. Yeah. So. Wow. Uh, I was able to get a decent. But there, there was a, there was definitely still a chance that uh, they wouldn't have won both elections. So that was a high risk play for sure. Interesting. Interesting. I know there's these the ACB. I know is Aurora. It seems like they're hopefully doing all right now. Yeah. Yeah. They, they've kind of gone along with, uh, the tech tech bubble, I guess uh, a little bit <laughs> like those, those stocks, uh, yeah. They were, it went up a lot February, uh, I think maybe into March a little bit, and then in the past couple of months they've they've gone down quite a bit. Wow, yeah, these are. Yeah, I, I had I had uh, Aurora too for a second. Seems like this is at least Canopy is doing all right. Yeah, so that was just like a, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that's just like what seemed like was going to happen, and then I I bought a little bit of a. Uh, a little bit of Jacobs engineering I think as well in case because I figured at some point there's going to be an infrastructure plan that goes through